Hi YouTubers. I want to use this GWS 9x47 on this shaft. Uh, fortunately, the hole that's punched out by GWS is too small. Um, and the shaft is too too big. Like many of you on, on watching this, I don't have a, one of those special ream tools that is made specially to ream this hole. Uh, but what I do have, and probably almost everybody have, are drill bits. Uh, the first thing you want to do is measure the shaft and get the closest one to your uh, to your to your shaft, and take a look at the hole and see how how much you really have to drill down. You ne you don't necessarily want to use the biggest the the the, the uh, biggest prop drill bit that will go in there uh, the first time round you want to gently move up uh, otherwise if you use a big old prop I mean a big old drill you'll end up forcing it and uh, the hole's not gonna drill straight so uh, the, the I've chosen to use probably one that's about three quarters the size uh, that's just slightly bigger than the hole and I'm gonna start drilling that I just use my nice, uh, my handy dandy vice grip. Um, grip it. And again, if, if you get a drill bit that's not too much bigger than your hole that's already there, when you start drilling, um, don't force it. Just keep it straight in there and turn it. And don't force it at all. Just let the drill do its work and let the hole guide the uh, drill bit. As you can see, you know, it, it's very little, but uh, by doing that, my hole should be pretty straight. And then I will move to the, uh, to the next one up. And the same thing. I won't force anything. I'll just gently turn it. And again, no forcing because you don't want uh, the drill to drill any more or less on any of the side otherwise your prop will be no good um, and I can tell it's still just a little bit too small okay so I ended up drilling off camera I ended up drilling with uh, the smallest one, then the next size up, the next size, and finally to uh, the one that actually fits. So if uh, if you slowly drill through and uh, go size size by side, you'll get in there, and it should be pretty straight up. I'll um, I'll go and power it up and uh, see how it runs. Okay, so I'll go ahead and drop the battery in there. And I'll move the camera back a little bit. balanced.